Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! Preaching on the platform is not the only thing to do with the anointing. Preaching on the platform is not the only thing to do with revelation. If we don't mentor the younger generation properly, there will be trouble. Because when these guys are accessing light, it's important for them to know that the seven mountains are also platforms of ministry. So that the person who now is routing the part of politics and the one who is staying to become a national prophet, they are doing the same thing in the realm of the spirit. You cannot say the one who is at the altar is higher than the one who is in government. No, no. Without Esther, the Jews would die. Are we together? It took Joseph manning the helm of affairs to preserve the purposes of God. Africa needs to understand the apostolic structure for kingdom advance. I can tell you we have not yet captured that blueprint holistically. That's why I took the time respectfully speaking to honor his majesty because of these kinds of apostolic understanding you imagine now respectfully speaking the kind of approach of leadership and governance to his territory africa i'm a man of prayer i'm a man of fasting and i'm a man of the word but i'm a man of the whole counsel of god there are many young people right now who are not supposed to be on the pulpit they are being on the pulpit is causing trouble to them and to others they they are not finding definition but the mentorship structure they have received has said once you are spiritual find a way of coming to stand here and they stand here yet they know joseph the, the, the throne is calling you daniel the place of governance is calling you esther you are fasting but realize that you are being called to the palace there will always be people like anna the prophetess their ministry stops at the temple. They never go out of the temple. If you take them out of the temple to be involved in secular things, you have destroyed them. They were called to stay. They will stay and wait. And Jesus will still come to the temple and meet them. This has been my concern. By the privilege of God's grace, I have studied many revivals. I have studied a bit of the history of the church in Nigeria. I can tell you not to this is not the platform to start discussing it but some of the major moves of God in Nigeria let me tell you this what killed them was a the emphasis of certain things there were those who came emphasizing the prophetic consecration prayer and then they didn't place emphasis on doctrine there are those who came I don't want to mention names respectfully speaking and the emphasis was just on doctrine and teaching and they de-emphasized the prophetic and prayer and both moves suffered by the time nigeria has only preachers i promise you that we are in trouble we did a bad job if a man of god produces only preachers then we're in trouble because one policy from our parliament can stop the purposes of God. Are we together? I believe in influence. I believe in the whole counsel of God. Men of fire, but people who are sheep among wolves, having the intelligence of the kingdom and even the wisdom of Egypt. Listen, I have studied territorial transformation by the grace of God. And I can tell you the truth. When Jesus walked upon the earth, we need to study the ministry of Jesus. I can list for you all the people groups that Jesus influenced. Jesus did not do crusades alone. Read your Bible. 
there were times he was with tax he he the same passion he took to preach in one crusade was the same passion he took to go to the house of an influential tax collector what was the result many people were set free because the man was a corrupt man look at jesus one moment he's talking to thousands of people the next moment he's alone with the woman at the well with the same passion the next moment he's investing time casting out one demon because that one man set free was equal to 10 cities hallelujah please look at me i can tell you this and i say it with every sense of humility it is the turn of africa to blaze the fire of revival we have prophesied this and many who have gone before us have said this for many years that there are certain nations that have been uniquely singled out by the election of grace one of them chiefest among them is nigeria now with all due respect and honor to every nation i am telling you this prophetically and that by the spirit however rather than just rejoicing and jumping and saying we are the ones pioneering revival we need to go and study the revivals that have happened and why they died are we together now yes where i come from there is a wise saying that when you see your neighbor's bed on fire don't just watch and laugh look for water quickly because that same fire is coming to you too look for water and start soaking your own beard too Europe has had its chance of revival. The US has had its chance, the word of faith and all these ones. But let me tell you, as we prepare for the return of Christ, whether we like it or not, this mantle for global missions, this mantle has right now is in Africa. It's not a lie. It's not, help those under the anointing. It's not a lie respectfully speaking once upon a time now i say this with every sense of respect many nigerians fly out with joy and say they are going for a lecture or conference somewhere but right now the whole nation and the entire globe they continue to come to this candlestick that has now been lit but my listen my 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 charge tonight is a prophetic warning because while we rejoice thinking we are getting it there are things we are missing too we are already beginning to follow the same pattern that aborted the revivals past do you know why rather than staying with the holy spirit to understand the structure and the formation of the move of god in a way that it lasts listen do you know when god comes his emphasis is not to produce preachers alone his emphasis is to produce witnesses and ambassadors please hear me body of christ god is not in the business of raising preachers alone preachers alone will not get the job done they never got the job done in the bible alone read the bible and see all those who walk wealthy people walked those in government walked joseph's walked esther's walked elijah walked you can't teach elijah about finances that's none of his business he's a radical prophet however you can come and put esther down and joseph down and throw away economics some of you right now are about to lose your mantle and your call because you are following a template if i'm spiritual i must be this no no there is a formation and there is a distribution of training patterns we must have the intelligence listen men of god we must be matured enough to know what training pattern is allocated for what formation you don't train a theater art student in an anatomy lab it doesn't work that way there are courses called general courses that everybody would do education secular enlightenment gives us that knowledge 
there are many Josephs who have been trained to become Elijah they are going to fail there are many Esthers who have been trained to become Elijah and there are many Josephs Elijah's who are becoming Esthers there are people who have no business with the palace their assignment is at the altar they should be mastering the art of the key is to recognize your place and appreciate other dimensions Are we together? For as long as this revival produces only preachers, I repeat, we are in trouble. No. The revival must produce men of hunger. Don't get me wrong. The revival must produce men of fire that intrinsically, God is not looking for preachers. God is looking for witnesses. If the geography of your witness is the altar, then so be it. Stay there and fan the flames. But don't stop Joseph from getting to the palace because you don't need to be there. Your assignment may not need the palace, but if Joseph never gets to the palace, if Esther never sits down with Ahasuerus, there are Jews that will die. now please look up can i tell you this whether you are joseph or elijah or daniel or anna the prophetess the word of god prayer the spirit of god these are general causes no matter where you are going to whether you are getting to the palace it will still be by the spirit by the word are we together there are many people claiming they are prayer warriors and the grace that follows a prayer warrior is not there because their assignment is that of a Daniel and every time they want to go like Daniel they are surrounded by Elijah's so they feel guilty for being Daniel's and they are giving up the Elijah mantle the Daniel mantle to remain Elijah if you are not Elijah leave that place and find where Daniel is pray in the spirit for one minute my heart is boiling with a good matter to give us structured intelligence on how to maximize the revival that is upon Africa right now because we are making a costly mistake and by love the Holy Spirit is pointing us and helping us to have understanding Ekra kata bakata proskoto pekete, zakete proskoti laka parande kebas, shalika prende skoti zakateria kata. Hallelujah. Now watch this. By the time we go to Hebrews 11, the Bible does not dichotomize them. When we get to Hebrews 11. Both the Daniels, the Elijahs, the Esthers were given one word, elders. The Bible says they obtained, all of them, the ones who preached, the ones who manned government for Jesus, the ones who preserved the economy, they said all of them were called elders. Nadoka Kasunanka Ubangi Ji Kai Sayabo Nagirma Masunanka Ubangi Ji Nadoka Kasunanka Ubangi Ji Kai Sayabo Nagirma Masunanka Ubangi Ji Nadoka Kasunanka I like this part of the song. We'll raise your banner high. We'll shine your light so bright. We'll sing in honor of you. We'll raise your banner high.
please sit down I read my Bible well and the Bible says he gave unto some he gave unto some apostles he gave unto some prophets he gave unto some evangelists some pastors you went to school if they say he gave some that means there are others what did he give the rest because the same lord is rich unto all we raise your banner high we shine your light so bright we sing in honor of you I raise your banner high. I shine your life so Please look up. If Mary was mentored by Anna the prophetess, she would have missed Jesus. Because Anna the prophetess would keep her in the temple. And as wonderful as she is, Anna the prophetess would not be able to teach her so much about marriage. Yet marriage was the area of her call. That was the area that would bless Jesus. Her assignment was to be chaste enough until Jesus arrives through her. Joseph of Arimathea was not a prayer warrior. But without Joseph of Arimathea, he used his influence as a man of means to secure the grave where Jesus was put in. Without Joseph of Arimathea, the word, oh grave, where is your sting, will not come to place. The body of Jesus was hanging on that cross. Prayer and fasting had finished his ministry. It took influence to bring that body from the cross. Please hear me, Nigeria. We need to redefine by the Spirit the apostolic formation for a revival that lasts. We have laughed at others who went before us. Some of us were arrogant enough to even be sarcastic towards them. Now the mantle has come upon us. We should not fail a generation through pride. We need to sit down and learn the patterns of the kingdom. Africa does not need preachers alone. I repeat. Terrorists know this. Do you know not everybody who is a terrorist is kidnapping? There are those who are financiers. There are those who are the priests and the mediums. You hardly see them outside. But they are the ones who power those ones who go and fight. They understand the formation. Hear me. There are some of you, based on your call and assignment, you are not only going to fast and pray for 40 days. The rest of your life will be in that consecration. Because you have the assignment of a watcher. You have the assignment of a watcher. You will be given the burden of nations. You will be given the burden of territories. You will pray down revival upon people. But my caution for you is while you pray down revival, don't teach that watchers are the only people needed in that formation. No. I repeat again Moses Aaron did not need to learn the wisdom of Egypt but Moses needed to learn the wisdom of Egypt please hear me if you are Naomi and you are Ruth pay attention to your marriage that is where the mantle is. If you are Esther, pay attention to your rising and influence because your assignment is in the palace. If you are Daniel, make sure you keep having an excellent spirit. Get the PhD, become a professor. Don't let anyone tell you you cannot rise because you will need to sit on the board of companies and corporations and stand in for Jesus. Now hear me. Please look up. Please look up. Sit down. Sit down if you can. Goodness. Do you know why I'm sharing this with you? 
I have been having a lot of prophetic encounters in recent times and I've been picking the burden of the spirit the spirit of God is saying something is wrong we are veering off we are doing it religiously and even with pride but we are veering off if there is no restructuring of the divine pattern why do you think the Bible captured all these people if the Bible wanted to teach you only one thing one person was enough there are 66 books full of different scenario coordinated together to produce the same thing in our midst here there are judges and justices when we are praying in tongues they pray too in our midst here there are senators honorable members house members when we are praying in tongues they pray too because that is general cause when we are fasting remember there are courses in the university it doesn't matter whether you are studying mathematics medical science architecture when it's time for that course everybody comes that course is prayer that course is fasting that course is doctrine learning the word of god but as far as the jurisdiction of your witness is concerned i repeat if you are mary go and read about mary if you are elijah do you know what mentorship should produce mentorship should help you to start finding a figure in the bible that looks like your future if at the end of training you in church three years five years you have not found your parallel in scripture then you are not mentored properly if the only person you see through your mentorship platform is elijah you did not see well because elijah is not the only one in the bible the assignment of mentorship is to open you up to the various dimensions of the kingdom personified by the individuals written there so that by the guidance of the spirit you will start finding the blueprint that reflects where you are going to look out to abraham your father and to sarah that body i called you and blessed him so if god has told you you're going to become a kingdom billionaire don't feel less relevant just because you may not have the grace to fast for 100 days you are not less spiritual you are the one who will make the prayer warrior remain by supporting him so fire on with your learning of economic principles there is a lot of ignorance mixed with pride in the body of christ we must humble ourselves we are not the first to carry this baton but we must carry it and run with it with honor looking unto jesus not unto ourselves our sufficiency is not of ourselves please hear me koinonia the day i fail to show you this i have failed in my assignment if we assess koinonia right now and the only thing we can say of koinonia is that it is a place of where preachers are trained that may be wonderful if that is my assignment provided i acknowledge that there are other dimensions i don't have then that is fine but where i tell you a preacher is all you need to be i deceived you where i tell you a businessman is all you need to be no that's why i don't run away from politicians no i don't i don't run away from business people you will find me in their midst and i'm talking because the pattern that jesus left us was territorial influence training and representing the purposes of god let me tell you this when you study church history you will read where the church started making a mistake and i will tell you where that came from when emperor nero emperor nero was one of the the vicious emperors that persecuted the church historically speaking right at that time if you were born again you would not even last up to 72 hours so other aspects of the kingdom were not the interests of people it was just to stay martyrdom was all that they looked at now when emperor constantine came and the war that was fought with the sign of the cross and he brought victory by reason of the dream and the vision he had he now allowed the worship of god freely the believers who were now saved because all those who mentored them had died they didn't know what to do with their remaining lives now that they were not matured again so he started bringing all kinds of versions of imbalances a few people among them said listen we can't sit here and die like this we have children we have needs and they broke out 
and when you read the church it was one move every move you call from the protestants the puritans it was a a detection of imbalance in another move let us be careful so that we don't clap for ourselves too early our children will edit our scripts our assignment is not to do everything but our assignment is not to stop what god is doing because of our biases and our prejudices i truly believe with all my heart that god allowed his majesty to come and a judges and people scattered here to be able to teach you something about this message remember what i have said when it is the ministry of prayer if you say you are a businessman you spoke nonsense because a businessman is first a priest before a king are we together when it has to do with the worship of the king all of us bow even Nebuchadnezzar was smarter he knew he said when you hear the sound of the trumpet I don't care who you are bow to that image the highest royalty I cast my crown before the highest royalty so there is a meeting point where businessmen apostles prophets teachers are we together professors presidents governments heads of corporations billionaires in all kinds of currency there is a central point of convergence that is before the king when we come before the king you don't come as a professor <clears throat> That's why you take your golden crown. Your crown, your crown defines your jurisdiction of dominion. You take it because it does not matter again. When you are before the king, you cannot be a king. Mm -mm. Are we together? So you are a king in the judiciary. You are a king in business. You are a king even in the practice of priesthood. But when we stand before him, I don't want to know who you are again. There is only one that commands our attention so we cast our crowns before hold on your first assignment is to have a crown your real worship is not your falling down your real worship is that your crown worships first so by the time you stand before him without a crown he says what happened I said you are kings where is the crown for being an influential person in the judiciary there's nothing to cast Esther where is your crown the anointing didn't come for you to heal the sick it came to take you to the palace Esther you, there is a roll call of worship in heaven I do not see the crown of Esther so when we stand to worship him Elijah stands with his prophetic crown Daniel stands with his governmental crown. Joseph stands with his economic crown. Are we together? Ruth, Naomi, all of them. And together, we cast our crowns before. Now you understand the song. The highest royalty. I am undone before. Your glorious majesty. He's the King of kings and lords of lords. You are the King of kings. Listen, you understand the song now? Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting use it quickly oh fire. Be let your mind be holy God's fire